everybody. Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I've got another story for you. And I'm going to say something that I haven't said in a while. It is Open Box Book Day. We got a box in the mail. We got a box with a brand new book in it. A brand new book. One that's never been read before. We get to open the box and see what it is. I don't know what it is. I've been waiting for a lot of books. So it could be any one of them. Let me pry this box open. You know how hard these boxes are for Miss Dorothy. <gasps> Wait a minute. This looks really familiar. Wait, do you see this book? This book is called Don't Trust Cats. Life Lepens Lessons from Chip the Dog. Chip the Dog? We just had a life lesson from Chip the Dog, didn't we? We just read another one of those books. What was that? Hmm. It was right here. Remember? Don't eat bees. Life lessons from Chip the Dog. We just read that. Now there's another one. And this one says, don't trust cats. Well, I know that Chip has a problem with cats. We found that out in this book. But I wonder why he's telling us not to trust cats. It's a brand new book. We need to get inside. There's a lot for Chip to teach us in this book. Are you ready to get into this brand new book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Don't Trust Cats. Life Lessons from Chip the Dog. Written by Dev Petty. Illustrations by Mike Bolt. Ah, uh, Chip here. I have been described as very smart and also a dog. You're probably thinking, hey Chip, I am also a dog. You seem incredibly intelligent. How can I be my best dog self? Great question. And because I am a good boy, I will answer three words. Hmm, I wonder what the words are. Don't trust cats. Uh-oh. Not the fluffy ones or the stripy ones or the very tiny ones with big eyes. No matter how adorable they are, if it has a ball of yarn, walk away. Don't be sad. There are many things you can trust. If you're looking for anim animal companionship, trust this friendly looking fella. I have a really good feeling about this. Oh no, that's a porcupine. I don't know if you should trust him, Chip. Those birds and squirrels you tried so hard to catch, you can trust them. They're laughing with you, not at you. However, definitely avoid bees. Long story. <laughs> we know that. He already taught us that. And don't trust cats. Trust your persons, even if they aren't grateful when you're giving yourself a bath. <laughs> Chip's giving himself a bath by rolling in the mud. And they throw wonderful gifts you bring them. Look, they're throwing the stick again and again and again. Chip can't figure out why he keeps bringing the stick and they keep throwing it, but they're just playing fetch with him. And even though they said you were going to the park that one time, but it wasn't the park at all. Uh-oh, she took him to the doctor. And sure, he cheats at cards, but you can trust Grandpa. He's the one who looks in your eyes and says you're a good dog and a pretty dog and keeps those special treats shaped like bones just for you. And Grandpa sure does love Chip. Helpful hint. The small persons will show you their affection in confusing ways. Try to be polite. Persons are way better than cats. <laughs> she dressed up the cat and the dog just like her. The park is full of true-tastic things. You can trust your person will be happy when you do your business. They are so proud. They even collected and put in a protective wrapper. Uh-oh, she had to pick up his poop. Trust this fire hydrant. It's always been there for you. Um, trust your intuition about others. This guy here loves sharing. 
Uh, it doesn't look like he does. Trust your nose. It will lead you to magical things you can bring to your persons. They will be so pleased. He's bringing her underwear. You know what isn't magical? Cats. No how, no meow. <laughs> he really doesn't want us to trust cats. Trust that any bed can be comfortable if it's the right bed. You just have to be motivated. Keep walking, Mittens. He's up on Mittens' perch. Trust that the mail slot will bring presents for you every day. Oh no, he's ripping up the mail. Trust Finnegan, the fish. He doesn't trust cats either. Mm -mm. Fish should not trust cats. Don't trust the vacuum or cactuses. Or those two criminals at the door. Oh no, there's Girl Scouts with cookies at the door and Chip's barking at them. But all these things are better than trusting cats, which you should never, ever do. Unless they seem very, very sorry and they share their special treats with you. Well, then maybe you can trust them just a little. Uh-oh, that cat looks suspicious. Besides, you never know when a cat will do something nice, like introducing you to some new friends. <gasps> Not the skunk. No, Chip, don't go near the skunk. The cat is tricking him again. I am a smart dog, says Chip. Uh-oh. But now Chip's all smelly like the skunk, and the cat is just walking away. Oh, my! We really should not trust cats. Did you see that? That cat tried to trick Chip all the time. He did it in the other book and now he's doing it again. And Chip is saying, don't trust cats. They can't be trusted. That was a tricky cat. Did you see that he teased Chip by giving him a hamburger and Chip said, wow, he wants to be my friend. And then he went outside and there was a skunk. No, when a dog goes near a skunk, a skunk sprays him with an icky, icky smell, and now the, the now poor Chip is all smelly, and the cat's just walking away like he wins again. No wonder Chip says, "Don't trust cats. Dogs should not trust cats. It's okay for people to trust cats, but dogs should not trust cats." I like the back of this book. Look, there was a "Beware of dog" sign, and Chip crossed it out and put a cat there and said, "Beware of cats." He really does need to be aware of cats because that little kitty cat mittens really likes to play tricks on Chip. We're learning some great lessons from Chip the dog and this was such a fun open box book day. Brand new book for you and me to read together. First people to read it. I'm so excited about that. I hope you loved it but we stayed up really late to get this book and now it's time for all my little puppy dogs and kitty cats to get into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, whether you have a dog or whether you have a cat or a hamster or a turtle or a rabbit, whatever your pet is, remember, you can trust your pet. You can trust them. But maybe the dog shouldn't trust the cat. I think that's good advice from Chip the dog. And that's all we have for tonight. Remember tomorrow when you're playing with your puppies, your kitties, and all your pets, whatever mom and dad say, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read another book to you. Bye. Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.